All right, welcome back. Uh, here we are again with uh, another little build video. Uh, I woke up this morning and decided I, I think I'm finally ready to uh, build me a pit slash chaos circer. So uh, that was about seven hours ago, and here we are. <laughs> Took me one day to build this character. About seven hours and about 2,300 form gold. So not too bad to build an ent entire character. So uh, let's, let's jump into this. Uh, his strength was just enough to get his enigma, and then the enigma gave all that extra. Enough dex for phase blade, enough vitality for 3,000 life, then the rest went into energy, would have put me over 500 mana. Uh, as you can see, max all resistances, which is really nice with the Zerker, so can allow me to do some chaos too, instead of just being stuck in the pits all the time. Uh, 6500 AR, not too bad. Uh, defense doesn't matter really, as you know, it's going to go to zero when you berserk. Uh, as you can see, exactly 700 MF. Uh, that is more than a freaking enough. In Classic, I have one with 800 MF, but that'd be a little difficult right now without 40 MF rings, and I'd have to drop the tombs, and it's just, it gets, you know, it's not worth the extra 100, so... Uh, nothing else too interesting. Got the I the 42 IS breakpoint, 70 faster run walk. Uh, on the offhand, 110 faster cast rate. So you got the 105 breakpoint. So pretty damn solid and cannot be frozen in 350% damage to demons. So pretty damn nice. Skill tree, pretty standard. You got max berserk, max find item, max battle orders, uh, max sword mastery. One into stamina, one into speed, one into iron skin, and the rest into natural resistance. Now we'll go on to the Merc. He's rocking an F Thresher Insight, 17 Meditation, 250 ED, 3 Crit. Uh, treachery, non F, in a superior ringmail. I actually shopped this base myself, 1512. I really like the way the ringmail looks. And low defense, try to get that treachery to prop, uh, proc, which it already is, as you can see. Max all resistances without fade. Uh, he's got like 50 fire and 50 lightning, and the others are maxed. Got a non F and Darius. You don't really need to go crazy. You don't need that tiny little extra defense. Most important here 10 life leech, 30 strength, 145 ED. Pretty nice. And she's got a 15 IS, uh, 28 fire as jewel. So it's a really nice and Darius. I, I like this Merc setup, it, it works. 4200 life, 1 to 4000 damage, 5600 defense, so yeah, it's it's pretty damn good for a Pit Zerker and Chaos Zerker. Uh, on to the character, the juicy stuff. Uh, pretty standard, Grief and a Phase Blade. This one's 34 IS, 373 damage, and it's got 13 ED, so yeah. Like mid roll on the damage, but that 13 ED is really nice. Uh, the offhand, we got a superior six socketed phase blade, 14 ED with six is in it. For the helm, we've got a 40 MF IK helm with a cham and an ist. Cannot be frozen, 65 MF, really nice. Ah, uh, right here we got a kind of a temp temp amulet, but honestly, I don't see me ever really upgrading it. It would be pretty expensive. You'd want the two skills on it, but it's not make or break for this character. And I actually crafted this thing myself. Got the 10 fast cast rate to get you to the 105 fast to cast rate breakpoint. 54 to life, 14 mana, 18 all res, and 22 MF. Those two are important right there. For getting me to max my res and hit that 700 MF. This bad boy right here. <laughs> Six months in a D2R, and I finally uh, did an Enigma. Uh, I rolled this one myself. I got the base, it was 8 enhanced defense, uh, 15 durability, uh, I rolled this thing, I recorded it, you'll see it in, in a highlight somewhere down the road, but I rolled uh, 765, I'm happy with it, I'm just glad it wasn't in the 750, so, pretty exciting to finally have Enigma, <laughs> 6 months into freaking Detour, and it only cost me like 900 form gold, compared to... <laughs> The first month I sold a burr for 5300 alone, so yeah, it definitely was worth the wait. Got a laying of hands for the 350% damage demon and that fire resist 
actually go, brings me from 40 sticks to max, so that was helpful. Got two 30 Nagels. Got a 50 War Traveler. On the off hand, we got two Suicide Branches for the 50 fast cast rate, and I use the Silver Wizard Spike for the extra one to skill for when you battle order. That's really nice. Onto the charms. We got a 12, 18 Barb Torch. 14, 19, 10, Annie. 144, 40, 14, Geats. All uh, right, here we've got an 11 Lightning Res, 2 Strength, Small Charm. That actually puts me at exactly enough uh, Lightning Res when... What was I losing there? Oh, I was losing skills. That's why I brought it down more. Yeah, without that, I was at 64 Lightning Res. It brings me up to the max. Uh, all the rest of the charms are 7 MF. Uh, the first few have res to help me max my res. We got cold res, cold res, poison res, lightning res. Uh, I thought I had some more. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> I literally just got done, so this isn't as organized as I'd, as I'd like it. But yeah, we've got some pretty plain ones in mana. And we got poison res, poison res, poison res. So basically 7 MF small charms with... Enough reses to max your res. Uh, you'd want to go with 7 MF5. 7 MF5 all res small charms, but those are rare and expensive as hell. Uh, these these aren't really all that expensive. I got some of them for like 25 form gold. Some of them for like 50, so nothing crazy. Got another lightning res. Then we got some plain 7 MFers. And then we have one 4 MFer to put me at exactly 700. You know how OCD I am. So, yeah, pretty damn solid character. I, I really cannot complain. I, I really like this guy. 1 to 1200 berserks. More than you need. So, let's do a pit run and then we'll try to do a cast run. Just keep in mind, this is literally like my first run with this character. I did, I did a little bit of pit zerking in classic, but this is my first time in years, so... Cut me a little slack. So on the offhand, you got the suicide branch. I keep teleport up on there at all times. On the main hand, I got berserk on the left, and I keep item find on the right. Uh, if I want to teleport with my weapons, I do Q uh, and E will cast your hollow. So go to your offhand, follow the road. Try to find the pits as fast as possible. Yeah, it was nice and smooth. So you want to teleport around, find the pack. On your offhand, you want to do the howl. Switch to your main hand. Oh, my timer got him before I did, but there you go. Hork the guy up. You're gonna. Some people are gonna say hork on your offhand because there's two extra skills. If you look at this, even with the two extra skills, it does not raise my chance. To, to pop an item, so it's way easier just to hork it on your main hand. So keep going, teleport, howl, 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 switch your main. Oh, berserk! Item find. Oh, we already got something. Not enough bone hue. Oh, we got another guy. There, boom, boom, boom. Hork him up. Switch back to your offhand, teleport, and after a while you just get into a groove of it. Get better at scanning the guys. <laughs> One shot these guys. Oh freaking Merc took him out. Goddamn damage, wanna be a little bit careful. I wanna get archer to death. Pussies like this guy just like to run away. 
go. I if I find something crazy while making the video. That never happens, though. As you can see, I'm still I'm a little rusty, but as you can see, my very first run, and I'm getting it done. <laughs> Only gonna get better from here on out. Almost something with those boots. But yeah, you might want to automatically switch back to your. As soon as you get on the guys, yeah, switch back to your main hand and just do the hollow there because your Merc's gonna probably end up killing the the unique, and then <laughs> you're gonna. Lose all that that 180 ms in your main hand. I'm still learning, but yeah, I think that'd probably be the better thing to do. Go here. Good day. Refill, and let's try to do a chaos with the Zerker. You don't really see anybody doing that, not that I've seen. You know, in classic, I was able to do it. Definitely not going to be as easy as the pits, obviously. Freaking mana burn right away. This is where that 350 damage to demons comes in handy from laying of hands. And we're having max res comes in handy. Not too shabby. Yeah, tearing up chaos too. Not just a pit zerker. Might go crazy just doing pits all the time. This where it gets a little tricky. Oh, be careful with fanaticism. Oh, not too bad. Oh. Look him out. I could do a little mini seal pop too after that, but... Just stick to the plan here again. Let's see if this dude can knock Diablo down. Sure he can, but dispense full. Stand in the fire. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Chopping him down. <laughs> Seven Seven hundred MF kill on Diablo and Squad D. What a shot. Oh, that was it. <laughs> As you can see, 700 freaking MF. Why is my damage so much higher? I had might before. What's different? I don't know. 1200 to 1500 Berserk, I'll take it. So, yeah. Really happy with it. I'm going to probably do a stream momentarily after I post this video. So, I'm uh, going to really see her in action. Like, you, Honestly, everyone calls it a Pit Zerker, but... This guy can do chaos pretty well too, so I think my rotation is going to be going to the pit so that hopefully your fatal proc for your merc by the time you go to chaos. And just keep doing both and maybe even, uh, let's see how our, our boy Pindle is. Maybe even throw him into it. Then again, may not. It's still, this freaking loading is still ridiculous. Six months in. Oh, bye-bye, Pindle. <laughs> yeah, pretty damn solid for 700 MF. You would think the, a 700 MF character would be really weak, but as you can see, he 
my first run ever on D2R doing this, and uh, nothing too crazy. I didn't didn't feel like I was gonna really die at any point, and it was pretty smooth. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, gonna get going. Probably gonna do a stream momentarily. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.